Good morning, Michelle Saxman here and ready to share with you some time with Proverbs chapter 26. The reflection today coming from Hope Church in Richmond, Virginia. The highlighted verse is Proverbs 26, 11. As a dog returns to his vomit, so a fool repeats his foolishness. The thought, my husband and I got a puppy this year, something I always wanted, but I had no idea what it really meant to raise a puppy. There are lots of unpleasantries when it comes to taking care of an animal, no matter how cute they are. I didn't realize how unpleasant it could be, and I know that parents out there know what I mean and more. I think that's what stands out to me the most about this verse. It's pretty hard to stomach, but it's a very true statement about dogs, right? But it's harder to admit or come to terms with the fact that it's a very true statement about myself as well. How often do I turn back to old patterns and old ways and wonder why I don't feel fulfilled? The good news is that the Lord is a lot kinder of a caretaker than us and much more patient and steadfast, persistent in reminding us to turn back around toward him from death to life. So um, I also did a little bit of reflection on this and tried to look at some other commentaries, and it really is about accepting discipline is number one and the other piece is living with intention and if we live by default we're going to go back to old ways so on to chapter 26 for today like snow in summer or rain in harvest honor is not fitting for a fool like a fluttering sparrow or a darting swallow an undeserved curse does not come to rest a whip for the horse, a halter for the donkey, and a rod for the backs of fools. Do not answer a fool according to his folly, or you will be like him yourself. Answer a fool according to his folly, or he will be wise in his own eyes. Like cutting off one's feet or drinking violence is the sending of a message by the hand of a fool. Verse 7. Like a lame man's legs that hang limp is a proverb in the mouth of a fool. Like tying a stone in a sling is the giving of honor to a fool. Like a thorn bush, like a thorn bush in a drunkard's hand is a proverb in the mouth of a fool. Like an archer who wounds at random is he who hires a fool or any passerby. As a dog returns to his vomit, so a fool repeats his folly. Verse 12, do you see a man wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. The sluggard says, there is a lion in the road, a fierce lion roaming the streets. As a door turns on its hinges, so a sluggard turns on his bed. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish. He is too lazy to bring it back to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who answer discreetly. 17, like one who seizes a dog by the ears, is a passerby who meddles in a quarrel not his own. Like a madman shooting firebrands or deadly arrows, is a man who deceives his neighbor and says, I was only joking. Without wood, a fire goes out. Without gossip, a quarrel dies down. 21, as charcoal to embers and as wood to fire, so is a quarrelsome man for kindling strife. The words of gossip are like choice morsels. They go down to a man's inmost parts. 23, like a coating of glaze over earthenware are fervent lips with an evil heart. A malicious man disguises himself with his lips, but in his heart he harbors deceit. 25, though his speech is charming, do not believe him, for seven abominations fill his heart. His malice may, see, may be concealed by deception, but his wickedness will be exposed in the assembly. 27. If a man digs a pit, he will fall into it. If a man rolls a stone, it will roll back on him. A lying tongue hates those it hurts, and a flattering mouth works ruins. I think a lot of good advice. I say if you're looking for management material and self-help, you need to go to the Bible. There's all these self-help books out there. There's all this stuff on management. But you guys, learning to have awareness, and that's what I feel like this Lenten season is about, is a journey of self-awareness and opportunity to learn from the book of wisdom, the book of Proverbs, 
Take those little bits of morsel, allow them to bubble up, sit in silence with them and go like, God, where is this me? Search me and know me. And then it is just having this level of discernment and cultivating the fruits of the spirit and having self-control and patience and looking at the behaviors of others. And I also see in this one where God is through the um, through Solomon is really telling us that it's about the heart. It's about the soul. And the mouth can do this, but if the intention is something different, that's going to come out eventually. So just have being patient with yourself, being patient with other people, learning to have this level of self-awareness and discernment, living with intention, taking gentle discipline, and just getting a little bit better each and every day. So y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.